Inkscape has very powerful filters for transforming images. Here are three examples. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to apply these filters. I'll also show you where you can find a large number of samples. Looking through the samples is a good way to quickly discover the variety and power of these filters. To start with, I'm using Inkscape version 0.48. Earlier versions may not have the same filter capabilities. If you're unsure what version you have, then you can check it by going to the Help menu. Just click Help and then go down to About Inkscape. And then here you can see that I'm using version 0.48. Now these are three samples here that I've already applied filters to. So let me show you what the image looks like before the filter was applied. And I can do that by selecting this image by left clicking on the mouse. And then I'm going to go up to Filters. And I'm going to select the Remove Filters option. So this is the image that I started with before I started applying filters. Instead of applying the filters to a simple square or circle shape, I wanted to use a shape that will provide more of a challenge to the filters. This is the image that I'm using. It is a spiral with a thickness that tapers off here down towards the end. And it also has a thin black border. And now I'll show you how easy it is to apply filters to these images. So first you select the image, and I've already got this image selected here. And then you go up to the Filters menu, and you'll see that under the Filters menu, there are a bunch of different categories that you can choose. So I'm going to go up to the Bevels category, and I'm going to choose Pressed Steel. Now you'll see that I have a filter applied to this image. It's that simple. Let me show you a couple more examples. First let me go to this image right here and I'll go to Filters and Remove Filters to get back to the original image. And now I'll go back up to the Filters menu again um, and this time I'm going to select Textures, and I'm going to choose Stone Wall. And again, I'll uh, select this image here, and let me remove the filters from it the same way that I've been doing. And this time I'll go to uh, Shadows and Glows. And I'll select Inner Shadow. So you can see very, very easy to apply filters. And you can even apply a filter to an image that you've already filtered. So for instance, let me select this middle one that's the stone wall. And I'm going to go up to Filters, and I'm going to go to the uh, Protrusions category. And I'll select Snow Crest. And this one actually lets you select the size of the drift that you would like to apply. So I'm going to take the default here and just say Apply. And now you can see that I have snow applied to my stone wall image. So up here in the filters menu, you can see that there's a lot of different filter categories. And each of these categories has a number of filters associated with them. To make it easy to see what these filters do, I applied each of these filters to the spiral image that I have been using and I put these samples on my website. To look at these samples, you can open your browser and go to littlewebhut.com and then go down and click on Inkscape. And here you'll see a link to the filter guide. So just press on this picture of these swirls and that'll take you to the filter guide 
where you can see samples of these filters. Each of these thumbnails here represent one of the categories under the filters menu in Inkscape. So if you want to see the bevels filters for example you just click on the thumbnail for bevels and here are the bevels filters. And you'll notice this gray strip that runs behind these images. This allows you to see whether the image is transparent or opaque. For instance, if you go down to this image right here, you can see the strip shows through it. So there's a little bit of transparency in this image here. Um, same with this image here. You can see that there's some transparency. There's, there's part of it that's opaque and part of it that's transparent. And then over here to this one, you can see that it's completely opaque. So this filter guide lets you get an idea of what these different filters can do. The filters tool is a powerful feature that Inkscape offers, and you can get some really amazing effects with it. The filters can also be applied to text for interesting effects, and really to any shape that you can create on here, you can apply these filters to it. Well, I hope you find this filter guide useful, and thanks for watching this video, and please leave a comment. Have a great day.